Hi, all my yarny friends. This is Julia with Julie's Crochet, aka Julia. It's been a few weeks since I've been on. Uh, my father in law passed away at the end of March and he had the C word virus. And me and my and his son got it. And I'm still, I can't talk too good. But I know some people's been asking me how I was doing, and I thought maybe I could try to make a video and get back into making my videos. So today's episode is called Whip It Wednesday, and I hope y'all can hear me. My, I still haven't got my voice back, and I still have a headache, and my ears are hurting pretty bad. So, and I haven't done a whole lot of work, but I'll show you what I've got done. But I'm going to read the Daily Devotional. And like I said, I hope you can hear me. Um, <clears throat> it's called Hunger Pains. Now the famine was still in the land, so when they had eaten all the grain they had brought from Egypt, their father said to them, Go back and buy us a little more food. Genesis 43, 1 and 2. We first world 21st century types don't understand hunger. <clears throat> Excuse me. We have way too many options and way too easy access to many of those options. Fast food and fun dining, eating in, take out, and eat out, call, fax, email, or text your order in grocery stores, warehouses, convenience stores, and farmers markets. And some grocery stores will even deliver. <clears throat> no wonder the idea of a famine is hard to imagine. If weather impacts a crop, we may pay more for that item at the store. But we aren't at the risk of starving. Jacob's family faced the risk of starving. Once again, they were hungry and the only place to get food was Egypt. This trip would cost the family more than silver. The potential cost was Jacob's beloved Benjamin. If Benjamin didn't accompany his brothers, the man in charge would not give them food. Physical hunger compels people to do exactly what they don't want them to do. May we hunger for spiritual food the way people during a famine long for physical food as if our lives depend on it. <clears throat> I might have to get me something to drink before I can finish. Okay, here we go. Okay. And I think I showed this on a couple of my videos. But I'm making this for my mama. It's a knit blanket. <clears throat> for Mother's Day. And. It's getting close to being done. But. I was asking about the green color. But I had to. I did the green color. But I had to mix it with a purple. Because. Their green was too thin. So. I just. Mixed a purple color with the green, and it's got yellows and purples in it. And then I did all the all the purple. I'm just gonna show you halfway because that's all I can muster right now because I'm still a little low on energy. And then when my father-in-law got sick. He kept asking me, do you not crochet or, or knit anymore? And I said, yes. He said, well, I, I like to watch you, but I'm, you haven't been bringing it with you. And I said, well, what I'm working on half the time is stuff for Christmas and the people are here and I don't want to work on it. So they'll find out what it is. So I started a blanket while he was sick just so he could watch me because he said he liked to watch it. So, what I planned on doing, it, this is what I got done so far, is the purple and the pink. 
um, since I was, I did start it while he was still here. I'm going to make a, a memory blanket for his daughter, Danielle, because she really had a hard time when he passed. Because my husband and her was about the only two that would do anything and go over there when he has two other kids, but they, they didn't go over there too much. We had a hard time getting them to stay there one night, so. And then I got to start another one for her son, and I want to do one for Timmy. That's who I'm with. We're not married, but I'm just going to call him my hubby because we've been together almost 15 years. So, um, I'm going to make him one. And I don't know what, I don't know if I'm going to knit it or if I'm going to crochet it because he's getting to where he likes my knitting better than crochet. So I might be crocheting for a, a little bit or knitting for a little bit, excuse me. So, but the things we're making Thursday, I've got to try to get it started. And I think what I'm going to do, I know it's supposed to be a shawl thing, but I think I'm going to turn it into a blanket and make that for, I guess it'd be my nephew because it's his nephew for a memory blanket for his grandpa. So I think that's what I've got planned. I haven't started that for things we're making Thursday. I hope I can, I feel like it this evening. Because I don't even know if I'm going to get it done within the time frame of April. But I can work a little bit and then I get so tired I can't, I can't sit up. My head starts pounding. So <clears throat> I'm going to try. I don't want I've been doing it since February, and I haven't missed not doing the project yet, and I really want to do it, because we got some wonderful ladies, and I will be telling you more about that tomorrow if I feel well enough to do a video, which I hope I do, and I hope that y'all can hear me, and I hope that y'all all have a blessed day and an awesome day knitting or crocheting or both if that's what you do if you uh can please like and subscribe i would appreciate it and also leave me a comment i will answer the comment i love reading everybody's comments so i will let y'all go for now and i will talk to y'all tomorrow hopefully bye my yarny friends